Okay, so some people have been asking me, are you going to make a money in the bank predictions video? And I figured, why not? I made one for extreme rules, so why not make one for money in the bank? So I just wanted to type in on Google and see if I could find the match card and, um, you know, go over the matches and stuff like that so I could kind of analyze them and, uh, you know, kind of guess on who I think is going to win. So I just wanted to see what the matches were. So on this website... Um, this lists all the matches, uh, you know, we have the Money in the Bank ladder match with AJ Styles, Kevin Owens, Shinsuke Nakamura, Dolph Ziggler, Sami Zayn, and Baron Corbin. Um, now this match is pretty up in the air. This one is a very hard match to call, and why I say that is because you have a lot of top guys in here that I can definitely see winning. I can definitely see AJ Styles winning this. I don't think they're going to give it to Kevin Owens because Kevin Owens was just, you know, a pretty former uh, Universal Champion. But at the same time, I don't know if I could see them giving it to AJ Styles either because he was a pretty, uh, you know, recent former World Champion himself. Um, but at the same time, you know, a lot of people would love to see him with the briefcase and he would actually look pretty good with the briefcase in my opinion, even though I'm not a big AJ Styles fan. Um, so, you know... AJ Styles would be a pretty good choice, but I don't think he's going to win just because he was a former world champ. I don't think Kevin Owens is going to win either because he was a former universal champion. Shinsuke is a big draw. He's a, you know, he's a big superstar um, on SmackDown Live, but the problem with him is he's still pretty new and I just don't see them handing him an opportunity for it yet, but he definitely would be a good choice for the Money in the Bank, but it's just... It's too early on for him in his SmackDown career to, you know, win the money in the bank. I just don't see it. Dolph Ziggler um, could use a really big push. Um, they probably won't give it to him, but Dolph Ziggler would be a pretty surprising victory. Um, Sami Zayn, I would love to see Sami Zayn win just because he's been a jobber for a very long time. Um, he hasn't had really any major pushes in the WWE uh, especially not lately. He's been a major jobber in the WWE. So I think Sammy really deserves it. But if we move on to Baron Corbin, I heard something about Baron Corbin getting a big push eventually. So could this be the big push that Baron Corbin's going to get? That's why I said this match is very up in the air. Like I said, AJ Styles is a big draw. A lot of people would love to see AJ Styles win. Personally, I won it because I'm just not a big AJ Styles fan. But a lot of people would like to see him hold the briefcase. Um, a lot of people would love to see Shinsuke, <clears throat> and I'm sure a lot of people would love to see Sami Zayn even win, but my guess for this match is either going to be probably AJ or Baron Corbin. I would like to see Sami. Sami definitely deserves that win, but they're probably not going to give it to him, and if Baron Corbin's due for a push, this might be his opportunity to win. So I guess we're going to find out with that. Let me know what you guys think, um, you know, about the male superstars money in the bank who do you think is going to win it um like i said that match is very up in the air just because there's a lot of you know big superstars in that match so that's why that one's very hard to call now for the women's money in the bank ladder match we got charlotte flair we got becky lynch we got natalia carmella and tamina <clears throat> now charlotte was um you know the women's champion for quite some time on raw and i just I don't see them giving her this win just because she's had a nice title run and um, it just, it wouldn't make sense to give it to Charlotte. Um, you know, she's a big draw in the match, obviously. Charlotte's a big superstar for SmackDown Live, but she had a very successful title run on Raw and I just don't see them giving, uh, you know, the title or not the title, but giving the money in the bank win to her. Um, if she's already had a good world championship run, I mean, she'll definitely be champion again in the future, no doubt about it, but right now is just not the time to do it just because she already had a very successful run. Um, Becky Lynch, I could definitely see her winning it. Um, you know, she was a pretty good SmackDown live women's champion. Um, so I could definitely see her winning it. I could potentially see Natalia winning it. I don't know why I, I feel like they kind of, um, you know, underestimated Natalia, so I could definitely see that being, you know, um, an upset there, like maybe Natalia could win it and, uh, you know, rise to the top finally, who knows, um, now Carmella, I could kind of see Carmella winning this too, 
I have no idea why maybe James Ellsworth could have something to do with it. Maybe James Ellsworth will somehow interfere in some way, shape, or form and help Carmella win the Money in the Bank. I don't know. I could definitely see something like that happening. Um, so I would say probably the top for this match would either be Becky Lynch or Carmella, maybe. Maybe Natalia, maybe. That's just kind of up in the air. I don't know. Tamina Snuka is definitely not going to win it. She's just somebody that's in the match. You know, they need to fill, you know, the match up. So she's just somebody that kind of fills the match. Um, but let me know what you guys think about this match. That's a, that's a pretty hard one to call as well. Just because there's a lot of big superstars in this match as well. But my guess will either be Becky, Carmella, or Natalia. I don't see Charlotte. I don't see Tamina at all. But let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. You know, these are all predictions, of course, so there's no right or wrong answer. You know, we don't know 100% on who's going to win any of these matches, but, you know, I'm just kind of throwing stuff out there and uh, seeing if you guys agree with it. Now, next, we have the WWE Championship match, Jinder Mahal versus Randy Orton. I do not see Randy Orton uh, winning the title back. Um, you know, they've been really building up Jinder Mahal lately, and this would be too soon for him to lose the title. Like, they have him doing some amazing entrances and stuff like that, and, you know, entrances uh, could make a superstar look really good, and they've been doing some really uh, killer entrances for Jinder Mahal. So, you know, I don't think they'd be building him up this much to lose to Randy Orton. I just don't see it happening. So I definitely see Jinder Mahal um, winning this, and possibly going on to maybe SummerSlam or something like that to face John Cena. But who knows for sure, you know, things could change, plans could change. Stuff changes all the time, um, but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Um, do you guys think Jinder Mahal will retain the title, or do you think Randy Orton will uh, win the title back? I think Jinder Mahal is going to retain just because they've been building him up, and it's too early for him to lose. So, if anything, he'll lose to John Cena at SummerSlam. He'll get buried by Cena, um, but that's just what I predict. Now, the Tag Team Championship match. The Usos versus The New Day. I'm going to say The New Day on this one, guys, just because The New Day had a very successful title run on Raw. They're, you know, a fan favorite. Um, they really know how to get the crowd going. They know how to get the crowd hyped up and fired up. So it would only make sense for them to, you know, win the SmackDown uh, Tag Team Championships and, you know, add some prestige to the titles. I, do I want to see, you know, the New Day winning the Tag Team Championships? No. Um, you know, I was getting sick of them being the Raw Tag Team Champions. It just was just too much after a while. I just didn't want to see it anymore. But, you know, in their defense, they know how to get the crowd into it. They know how to get the crowd fired up. And, um, you know, I really think they are going to beat the Usos for the championships. But let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. Now, we have the women's championship match, Naomi versus Lana. Now, these matches aren't in, you know, uh, any particular order. I'm just reading them down the list here from this website. Um, so, I don't know what match is going to be first and what match is going to be last. You know what I mean? These are just me reading down the list here. Um, but we have the women's championship match, Naomi versus Lana. Now, I don't think Naomi has been a very good uh, women's champion. I could actually see Lana winning this one. Believe it or not, I could see Lana winning this match. But since she hasn't really proved herself worthy of being a women's champion, I mean, she's new. You know what I mean? Like, she hasn't really proved anything to anybody that she could be a champion. Would I love to see Lana win? Of course. I would definitely rather Lana over Naomi. But the thing with that is, is I could see Lana winning... Um, you know, just because it would be out of the ordinary, um, you know, but what I do expect and what I am going to call on this is if Lana does win and somebody mentioned this in one of my live streams, if Lana wins, whoever wins the, uh, women's money in the bank match, I could see them immediately cashing in, you know, they'll see this as an easy opportunity. They know Lana don't have too much in ring experience. So I could definitely see, um, you know, whoever wins the women's money in the bank, cashing in on Lana and defeating Lana that can cause, you know, a big upset. Um, you know, I think Lana's going to win just to get the crowd fired up. Like, oh my God, Lana actually won. But then I think she's going to lose immediately right away to whoever wins the money in the bank. So, um, I definitely call that 
Now, uh, this is like the, you know, the kickoff show. We got the Hype Bros versus the Colognes. The Hype Bros are definitely going to win. I mean, when do the Colognes ever really win? They're just basically jobbers for the tag team division. Um, so I definitely see the Hype Bros, uh, you know, pulling off a win here. But I would love to hear your guys' predictions down in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys agree with any of the predictions that I made in this video. Um, you know, hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, slap a huge like on this thing. Maybe subscribe to the channel if you're new. And click the bell notification as well. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, just leave me those comments down below. I'm Noology. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm out for now. Peace.